Peace, kings and queens, guys and goddesses. Welcome back to another video. I pray you're well, and let's get into it. Let's see what is the current energy at this time. Holy Divine Spirit Universe Source, show me the messages for the collective. The messages for the collective here. So you got the Eight of Pentacles. So I see here a lot of you guys are focusing on your craft, your business. You could be a sun sign in Virgo. And so you're very analytical at this time, all right? You're analyzing and you're focusing in, honing in on your craft, on your vision, on your work. You got the temperance here. So there's a good balance, okay? I'm seeing there's a good balance here in your work life, your love life, your personal life. <clears throat> you're balancing practicality, practicality with spirituality at this time. Yeah, you got the Ace of Cups. Ooh, this is beautiful energy on a beautiful Saturday. I will take it. I will take it. I definitely do feel like, yeah, this is giving me more so a balance between your work life and your love life here. I do, I do see that. <clears throat> um, the temperance was in the middle. You could be a Sagittarius or a water sign. But I definitely feel like for a lot of you, this makes you happy. This makes you fulfilled. You're no longer feeling like you're trapped or in some sort of bondage. Some of you guys may have found a job that you actually love or your craft. You're actually starting to find your flow. Okay. Um, a lot of you guys may be staying very hydrated or you're being guided to stay hydrated during this time. Drink plenty of H2O or H3O. You pulled the three of wands with the eight of pentacles. So for some of you guys, expect a huge offer, which I picked up on this a few readings ago. But I feel like somebody's watching you and somebody is um, is going to lend an offer or someone's going to call you. Um, if you're an artist, I feel like there's, I feel like your shit is going to be in a showroom. I'm picking up an art gallery or an art show, a local art room or something like that. I feel like whatever this is, is really huge within the neighborhood or um, where you live is close to home. It's not too far away. Yeah, I can't make this up. The four of wands. So you're going from the three of wands to the four of wands. So you're going from expecting something to actually getting it so some of you guys are expecting stable stabilization security um you're expecting partnership harmony love bliss marriage reunion some of you guys are reuniting with somebody i'm gonna tell you that could be a sagittarius nine of wands in the reverse but with the Four of Wands coming under the temper, this is a reconciliation, you're reuniting, you're coming together, and things are balanced this time. Okay, you got the Dev card, it could be with the Scorpio, Five of Wands, the Hermit. So this connection could have dealt with some sort of separation so that conflict can, you know, cool down or things could subside within the connection here. All right, we have Virgo and Scorpio with the Moon, Cancer. So, let me see. Let's see. Let's see what this Nine of Wands is here. So, this is somebody who could be struggling with letting go or something like that. Let me see. Give me one second. Give me one. Okay, so no, this is finding peace and shifting your values when it's in reverse. This is Moon and Sagittarius, and it's coming under the Ace of Cups. So I definitely do feel like this is some of you guys finding peace and value within yourself or finding peace within a shift that may be happening. You're surrendering to changes. Okay, this could be changes in love. This could be in changes to your body. Some of you guys may be pregnant. And your body is going through certain changes here. You got the Ace of Pentacles with the lovers. Oh, a commitment is coming in very strongly. 
a solid commitment or this is money coming in. Some of you guys are getting paid for your artwork or for your work, whatever you do. Somebody, you're getting a huge payout, okay? What's the nine of wands in reverse? Where's the nine of wands here in reverse? The Ace of Pentacles came back out. So because you are learning how to maneuver and shift through changes, you're getting rewarded for that. You're getting, um, I'm, I'm hearing a grand prize, okay? So you're a winner. Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. Yeah, you, you're walking away from feeling bored, rejected, um, discontent, all right? I feel like you're picking yourself up. Yeah, the uh, Knight of Wands, Five of Swords, peeking out. <sighs> Who cares? Let's see what this Ace of Pentacles is bringing here. The Queen of Swords. Okay, so logic, intellect, openness, and a willingness to hear someone out or someone willing to hear you out. I see somebody getting a last chance to a last <laughs> one more chance to explain themselves something like that before you're completely done yeah king of swords wow so this could be a partnership i feel like you guys are going to choose to move forward with each other that may have been a challenge within the relationship um hearing each other hearing each other out not having a conversation to respond but Having the conversation to listen and understand what the other person is saying here. I feel like there's a successful conversation being had here. Uh-huh. Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Four. There may be, you know, there may be a little spat. But I feel like it's warranted or it's necessary. All right. Um, when I say spat, yeah, it, it it's, it's a, a playful banter or... It's a necessary release for the both of you to get out whatever you need to fucking get out so that you guys can move forward. Yeah, because you're in love with each other. You love each other. Neither one of you want anyone else. There's no competition. Even if there are other parties, you're only wanting to invest in each other here. Mm -hmm. The Four of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Mm-hmm. This could be conflict around others around you. You got the judgment, you got the tower, big Scorpio energy. And then you pull the 10 of pentacles. So I do feel like with the judgment and the tower that came out, um, and then the 10 of pentacles, there were major forces working against this union coming together. Um, why, 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 why? Let's see, why was, why were, or why are forces coming against this union? Why are forces coming against this union? This divine union. <laughs> Victory and success. Oh, with the three of swords. Because they don't want to deal with the heartbreak of having to watch you move on or to watch you and this person be happy. Whoever this is, they hate to see other people admire your relationship or admire this union that you're in. Whew. Whoever this is could be a Libra. They are in like, ooh, disbelief, despair, five of pentacles. They feel left out. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. So something about Venus, heavy Venus energy, the chariot. Give me more for the six of wands. The Seven of Cups. They wish they were the option that you chose. They want to be the one that gets the attention from you. Okay? This is somebody who feels... That they're the type of person that feels like we're multi-dimensional beings. We should be able to love multiple people. Well, then you go and do that. I feel like they want you to be the type to be with who you're with and be with them too. No. No. Yeah, the fool. That's a that's foolish. Okay, so Uranus. So whoever this is, um, it 
and no nothing is right or wrong okay we're not judging the way certain people want to live but it looks like your morals did not align with whoever this is and they wanted to live a more unorthodox lifestyle when it came to love and partnership whereas you wanted something more traditional more monogamous more solid and something that you can hone in on you know what i'm picking up on you know there you know how there's mega churches and then there's like a local church or you know a small town church where the pastor or the the bishop knows everybody's name they know you by first and last name whereas in a mega church you don't really get a lot of attention from the, 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 the pastor or whoever, unless you're like in the inside circle, it's more clicky and cultish. I feel like that's what this is. Like the energy I'm getting is like, you want to be in a partnership where you and your person are able to hone in on each other and give each other everything you have and really be able to watch the fruits of your labor uh, sprout and grow and blossom like you want something just solid you don't want a lot of distractions outside noise outside energies i'm picking up especially when it comes to sex whoever i'm connecting with you're serious about your your sexual partners or you're serious about only being with one person like that sexual energy exchange is really important to you you're not just frivolous about who you fuck period all right, some of you guys are definitely pregnant. Ten of Cups with the Ace of Cups, okay? All right, it's going to be a successful pregnancy. I am picking up on multiples or twins. Um, some of you guys... Also, some of you guys may be finding it difficult to come up with baby names or something like that. Or you're, you're coming up with baby names. You want a name that is going to be very strong and solid and, you know really speak to your baby's future is what I'm getting. Very uh, personal. A lot of these, not personal to me. When I say a reading feels personal, I'm saying as though it feels like this. I'm giving someone a personal reading. Now, when it's personal to me, I'll say to me. Um, but when, the, when a collective reading feels personal, I feel like this is somebody's like literally I'm probably connecting with one or two people. Okay. All right, what is the overall energy? All right, you got the nine of swords, the page of pentacles and the magician. Um, why, oh why, oh why, oh why? Sources wanting you to know that there is nothing to fear. There's nothing to feel bad about. There's nothing to feel guilty or shameful of. If some of you guys are needing to start over from the beginning or start from scratch, need to learn something over or regroup so that you can manifest successfully, that is completely fine. Okay, there's something about worrying about what other people say when a lot of you, and it's not even a race, it's not a competition, but for a lot of you guys, you would be surprised how far behind others are from you. There's a lot of people who talk a lot of shit and they're so far behind. If you want to talk about it on an earthly plane or 3D aspect, okay, you're doing a damn good job. So don't don't let outside energy um, influence how you feel right now. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's pull some angel numbers and then we can... Roll out, roll out. I pray you all are having a nice Saturday. It's raining here in California, so um, I'm just washing, cleaning, vibing. All right, you got 888 Karma. So that speaks about balance, finances, success, wealth, cycles. What goes around comes around. A lot of money is coming your way here. All right. Yes, it's, it speaks about fortune pertaining to more than monetary gain. So a lot of you guys are fortunate, like, as far as your surroundings, your partnerships, your career, your job, your goals, your health, uh, your ability to maintain and sustain wealth. Um, 
the, the company you keep like you're you're fortunate in so many ways other than financial okay you got 12 12 is persistence so keep up the good work okay stay enthusiastic um, maintain and ground yourself in gratitude all right and some of you guys you have some new experiences coming and this also speaks about shifts so major shifts definitely coming in for a lot of you you got 2020 compassion all right some of you guys may be finding yourself having some sort of compassion or mercy towards someone here. Um, this is somebody who you may see a lot of potential in. Or you could be assisting someone in recovering or adapting to a new environment. Or this is you. You're adapting to a new environment here. So be gentle with yourself. Okay. This also speaks about being of service to others, so I love that. You got 13, 13, starting fresh. What did I say? So a lot of you guys are starting fresh with something here. It says encouragement, goals, foundation, creative ventures, and communication. All right, one more. And I apologize for the background. Y'all, my son is uh, playing when he's learning games you got 1919 speaks about cycles so karma again warning judgment influence power cycles changes and rebirth so a lot of you guys are going through a major rebirth karma will be paying you a visit release the need to control because you cannot force things learn your lessons so that they don't repeat in the future make some space for new experiences all right so that's what I have, babies. I pray it helps. Like the video and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.